Kansas has been struck by a 3.5 earthquake within this past hour. It hit today after the magnitude 3 hit earlier. This is in the area of the Mid-Continental Rift Fault. As we know, the Mid-Continental Rift coming from the Great Lakes towards the west from Lake Superior, pointing towards what was closer once towards Wyoming. That's a spreading area. It has magma underneath. That's why it's spreading. All rift areas have magma underneath, just like we have, for example, New Madrid Seismic Zone. And this is the horseshoe-shaped area. You can see that red area is into Kansas, on the west, Kansas, Oklahoma, all the way down to Texas. That is that has magma. It has a mantle plume underneath. They don't know where that magma is coming from. Well, of course, we know that the if it points towards west and you extrapolate that, going into the Gulf of Mexico, uh, we know that we have asphalt volcanoes there recently found in the beginning of 2000s. This horseshoe-shaped magma mantle plume was created about 880 million years ago. This is what is causing the mid-continental rift. It's, um, uh, we do have volcanoes in Kansas. Uh, we've said that many a time when we had reports of people. This is a crack in Michigan in 2010 from an earthquake. Look at that. It's huge. That is huge. Uh, it reminds us of what we saw in July in uh, Ridgecrest. And we know that the, the land here, the sediment, is uh, softer. The sediment is softer, so we get to feel the earthquakes ten times more than we would on the west coast. And we usually think of the east as being, oh, very uh, silent and uh, non-seismic, but that's not the case here in the, in the central United States. We have the mid-continental rift that most people don't even know about. They think that all this area is very safe and... Uh, you hear about people talking about uh, earth changes and uh, they want to go and find something around there and uh, have a, an off-the-grid type of a locale. And uh, they don't realize that this is an area that has... This was one of the first areas a billion years ago that had uh, all this seismic activity, this, this tremendous amount. Of, and they still have this... Magma under there, and they don't know where it's coming from. I would venture to say the west part, at least. Uh, you can see that pointing towards the Gulf of Mexico, uh, just south of Florida. You have all these volcanoes and a tremendous amount of earthquakes. The Caribbean islands are all volcanic islands. Puerto Rico is a volcanic island. The Antilles are volcanic islands. And then you have Mexico, of course, that's all Mexico, Guatemala, those are, that, that coastline is all volcanoes. Um, they don't know where it's coming from, but uh, if, it, if you point that diagonally down to Baja, Baja is what is uh, feeding the west coast with ma magma and also Yellowstone. Anyway, it's there. They don't know where it's coming from, but it is there. And then the right-hand side, the east side, uh, you can see all those earthquakes there, the green and the uh, things around over Maine, over there, that purple thing there. That Maine, Maine we, have, we know we have five volcanoes, and uh, four of them are in a distance of 100 miles. And that, if you go towards the uh, east, towards the Atlantic, has a um, row of uh, volcanic seamount. It's a seamount. It's underwater volcanoes going from northwest to southeast, pointing towards the Azores, basically. And the Azores are on the junction of the North American plate with the African plate and the Eurasian plate. So this is where we've had our earthquakes today, and uh, they've been felt. Uh, the the 3.5 was uh, reportedly just, as we said, the past hour, and USGS says it's in... Uh, 11 kilometers south southeast of Anthony, Texas. It's on the south border of Kansas, reportedly felt by 19 people. And um, it's around uh, just south of Wichita, Kansas. And the other one of 3.0 was um, 
just south of Lincoln. It's on the north border of Kansas. And that was reportedly felt by um, 13 people. But um, the one at three kilometers, at three magnitude was at um, 537 UTC time, 14 kilometers depth, and 3.5 was at 1900 hours UTC time. Uh, both in Kansas, one the north border and the other one was uh, south of Wichita, uh, as we said, on the south border. So that was felt, as we said. And um, it was felt all the way down uh, up to um, uh, Dodge City and Oklahoma City. For a number of months now, people in Kansas have been feeling their houses shaking. They've heard uh, boom sounds, blasts in the air. They sometimes describe them as supersonic jets, booms, uh, and their houses are shaking, and they, they're frightened. Now, we know that uh, here, here we have, um, and I'll leave a link below for you, volcanic ash deposits across Kansas. Uh, we know that the, uh, there are at least three ancient volcanoes on the uh, northwest area of Kansas, and they're kimberlite volcanoes, which means that they spit out diamonds, and they are explosive volcanoes. And now, when you have, uh, as we said, you've got the magma underneath, and you have uh, vo ancient volcanoes. doesn't mean that they're extinct. I mean, okay, they may be dormant, extinct, whatever. But, you know, lately, a Russian volcano in the Aleutian Islands was thought to be extinct, and then they, found they didn't even have it on the volcanic list. And then they found that it was filled to the top with magma ready to explode, to erupt, even though they thought it was extinct. So we don't know because we have magma under, under this area. So the northeast has the kimberlite volcanoes and um, they, they could be releasing gas. The gas release may be um, creating that explosive noise. Um, and as you can see from here, this is where they have volcanic ash deposits and the tons, the tonnage is, as well as uh, indicated there. Some are smaller, some are bigger. Um, and we looked at that after we heard of people complaining about the noise. So the ash deposits. Volcanic ash deposits of Kansas are usually widely separated, completely isolated. Okay, uh, there's, this is a um, from uh, descriptions of megascopic and microscopic dis uh, the textures of them, deposits and locations. This is a study, of course, um, geological study, the chemical natures of them, the origins of the ash deposits in Kansas came from a volcano, a volcano, a group of volcanoes there can be no doubt similar physically, chemically, microscopically. And as reported, uh, survey discovers three new volcano features in northeast Kansas. This is northeast. We also said that they were northwest. Um, they were three previously unknown volcanoes featured uh, features in uh, Riley and Marshall counties of northeastern Kansas and um, study based by, at the University of Kansas. They're known as kimberlites. These deep pipes of volcanic material exploded to the surface about 90 million years ago. Nine other kimberlites in Raleigh County have also been known to geologists. So there's nine plus three, there's 12. Uh, because They're important because they provide information about the deep subsurface and because they're composed of a type of igneous rock that is a source of diamonds. Unlike volcanoes, kimberlites do not pour out lava. Instead, they explode violently to the surface forming small craters, leaving behind a mixture of igneous and sedimentary rock that often contains garnets, dark red semi-precious stone. Garnets are beautiful. One of the, they're darker than rubies. One of the previously known kimberlites near the small town of Winkler in northern Raleigh County produced a shallow crater several hundred feet in diameter that's visible on aerial photography. All of the newly discovered kimberlite volcanoes are covered with soil, 15 to 20 feet below the ground surface, all are on private property. So uh, know that, that they don't have lava, they, they explode diamonds. 
and they're explosive. Um, this is what uh, I want you to be aware of there. Okay, this is Kansas. It's not just not. It's not just Kansas. It's all the way down, and that's what happens when you have uh, these uh, magma plumes underneath. So, um, all of you there, please be very careful because these you have earthquakes, but you also have um, volcanoes. Three plus another nine, twelve. Here, the ash deposits are towards the northwest but we also have the Kimberlites towards the Northeast. So take your pick, they're, they're everywhere. Um, which is a nice thing, you know, if you go walking, nature walking, of course we said these volcanoes are private property, but if you go in some kind of a nature, you know, a state park or something, look around under your feet, you may find diamonds. Please be careful all of you out there. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.